Gradius, video game. The arcade version of Gradius was released internationally outside Japan under the title of Nemesis, although later releases kept the original title. Home versions were released for various platforms, such as the Famicom slash NES, the MSX home computer, and the PC Engine, among other formats. The original arcade game and some of the home versions has also been included in various compilation releases and are available for download in services such as the Virtual Console and PlayStation Network. The player controls the trans-dimensional spaceship Big Viper, and must battle waves of enemies through various environments. The game became synonymous with the phrase, destroy the core, as the standard of boss battles in the Gradius series involved combat with a giant craft, in the center of which would be situated one to several blue-colored spheres. These bosses would be designed in such a way that there would be a straight passage from the exterior of the giant craft which leads directly to one of these cores. The player must fire shots into this passage while avoiding attack patterns from weapon emplacements on the body of the boss. However, small but destructible walls are situated in this passage, impeding the bullet shots from damaging the core, and must be whittled away by repeated well-placed shots. In a way, these tiny walls represent the boss's shield engage until its core is finally vulnerable to attack. Some bosses have the ability to regenerate these walls. When the core has sustained enough hits, it usually changes color from blue to red, indicating that it is in critical condition and its destruction is imminent. Upon the destruction of a core, a piece of the boss may be put out of commission, seeing that it is no longer powered by a core, or if all of the cores are destroyed, the entire boss is defeated and explodes satisfyingly. Note that these cores are not present on the more organic bosses of Gradius. Such bosses have weak spots in places such as a mouth, head or eye. When gameplay begins, the Vic Viper is relatively slow and has only a weak gun. This level of capability is generally insufficient for engaging enemies, but the Vic Viper can gain greater capabilities by collecting and using power-up items. While most arcade games utilize distinct power-up items that each correspond to a specific effect on the player character, Gradius has a single power-up item. The effect of this power-up item is to advance the currently selected item in a power-up menu that appears at the bottom of the screen. When the desired power-up is highlighted, the player can obtain it by pressing the power-up button, returning the menu to its initial state in which no power-up is highlighted. Ports of Gradius were also done for the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Microsoft Windows, MSX, NEC PC 8801, Famicom slash NES, PC Engine, Virtual Console, Sharp X1, Sharp X68000, Mobile Phones, Sega Saturn. PlayStation and Sinclair ZX Spectrum. The game went to number 2 in the UK sales charts, behind Feud. It was also released on Windows Store on December 20, 2013, Game Now in May 2014 and for PlayStation 4's Arcade Archives on January 25 inches Japan. The NES version of Gradius introduced a cheat code that would later become known as the Konami Code, as it would be used in numerous future Konami games. In this game, Inputting the code while pausing the game would grant the player ship multiple power-ups instantly. A NES port was re-released for the Nintendo Switch Online on September 19, 2018 and worldwide and update releases on November 14, 2018 in worldwide. Gradius was also converted for the Nintendo vs. Series arcade platform. It is identical to the NES version, but includes no cheat codes and allows the player to continue indefinitely. The arcade version of Gradius is included in the Gradius collection for the PlayStation Portable and in for the Nintendo DS. A version for the Game Boy was also released in 1990 under the European name Nemesis. It is the first portable game in the Gradius series and contains five levels which play similarly to previous Gradius games. Players select the stage and the number of available extra lives at the start. The game was later included in the compilation Konami GB Collection Volume 1, where it is titled Gradius. Gradius began development when series creator Hiroyasu Kikuchi was given a team to work with and asked everyone what kind of game they wanted to develop, to which they responded being a shoot 'em up, with the intent of surpassing Namco Sevius. They decided to make it a horizontal shooting game because they wanted to reuse material from Scramble as much as possible, and Gradius was originally named Scramble 2. The development lasted for a year after refining and experimenting with the gameplay. The team originally tried 20 different movement patterns for the options and used a process of elimination when something did not work. For the story, Hiroyasu's team was inspired by science fiction movies, with the popular sci-fi films at the time being Star Wars and the anime adaptations of Lensman. 
The team saw Lensman together and it influenced the game's story. Its plasma laser also left a big impression on them and was why Gradius featured a laser weapon. The Moai were included because they wanted to add a mysterious element to the game like Xevious and its Nazca lines. The Western cover art for the NES version claimed that it had sold 1 million copies in Japan. GameSpot stated that Gradius was one of the toughest side-scrolling shooter games available on the NES, second only to Contra. IGN has given the game a rating 7 out of 10 for its re-release on the Wii Virtual Console and has hailed it as one of the greatest classic side-scrolling shooter games. Gradius spawned several sequels, the first of which was 1986's Salamander. The series has continued into the seventh generation with Gradius Rebirth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.